Komatsu is expanding its large wheel loader lineup with a new model, the WA475-10. And this loader is the first model in Komatsu's next generation Dash 10 loader lineup, and it features a brand new hydraulic mechanical transmission. What's going on everyone, I'm Wayne Grayson and you're watching Equipment World, where each week we bring you new videos on the latest in construction equipment, trucks, gear, and more. In this video, we're going to be talking about the all new Komatsu WA475-10, an electronically controlled loader whose development was guided by a desire to provide customers with across the board spec and power increases while also lowering fuel consumption. Let's get into it. Now, despite being part of this new next generation Dash 10 lineup of large wheel loaders, the WA475-10 is actually powered by the same six cylinder Komatsu engine that you'll find in the WA470-8. This is also the same engine that powers the larger WA480-8. Okay, so here is how Komatsu is cramming better power and more performance into the 475-10 while also dropping fuel consumption, even though it has the same engine as the machines that preceded it. See, while the WA470-8 and the WA480-8 both hit their peak horsepower at about 2000 RPM, the WA475 can do this at about 1600 RPM. And as you know, more power at less RPMs equals better fuel efficiency. And since Komatsu is using the exact same engine that is found in the WA470 and the WA480-8 models, the difference with this 475-10 model is the new hydraulic mechanical transmission. Now, this loader doesn't have a torque converter. Essentially, the transmission combines Komatsu's hydrostatic transmission technology with that of a planetary transmission, and it allows operators to set speed with a new travel speed control dial. Komatsu says this new transmission divides engine power into two paths. Depending on the speed selected using the new control dial, hydrostatic control is going to be implemented when high torque is needed, or planetary control will be used in lighter situations to increase fuel efficiency. So here's Komatsu senior product manager for Wheeled Products, Bruce Babel, explaining how this new hybrid transmission technology translates to real world performance. So we have a pump and motor coupled with a planetary transmission. What that does for us gives us 30% more fuel efficiency, production per fuel, and 17% less fuel consumption than its predecessor. When you're, when you're doing some V-cycle, you're doing high torque type work, it goes more to the, the hydrostatic side of the transmission. Let's say you get up to speed, you're doing some load and carry work, then basically it shifts over to the mechanical, very similar to like kind of a direct drive portion. So you get a lot of fuel savings. Now the end result of all of these performance gains is a 14% boost in productivity in the 475-10, over the 470-8. Komatsu says another benefit of this hydraulic mechanical transmission is that it offers dynamic braking. Now this dynamic braking system is an optimized system that really shows the benefit of having a hydrostatic element to this transmission because it allows you to actually use that travel speed control dial to assist you in slowing down the machine and you don't have to use the brake pedal at all. And the more you use that travel speed control dial to assist in slowing the machine down, the less you'll be slamming down the brake pedal and the less you slam down the brake pedal the longer life your brakes will have. Now, another brake saving feature on this new 475-10 is auto hill holding. Now, say you're stockpiling on a slope. This feature is actually gonna allow you to hold your position on that slope even when you're not depressing the brake pedal. Now, moving on from the new powertrain features, the powertrain is not the only element of this loader that Komatsu has strengthened. The hydraulics have actually been beefed up a bit too. For instance, the machine features larger boom cylinders that have made boom lift 20% stronger than what is found on the 470-8, and breakout force has been increased by 8%. Komatsu has also implemented a large bore bucket cylinder similar to what is found on the WA470-8 log loader. Now, alongside the introduction of the 475-10, Komatsu has also introduced a new bucket design that the company says allows the bucket to drive deeper into piles for easier filling. This is a 5.8 cubic yard bucket design and it has a longer jaw and it has larger side curves for retaining material better. The new floor shape and radius profile also help roll material into the bucket for easier loading. There's another new feature on this machine that simultaneously decreases fuel consumption while also making the loader a little bit easier to operate and that is independent work equipment control. What that means, let's say on its predecessor, let's say you're coming up to a truck and you need your work equipment to go faster. You hit the accelerator and you hit the levers and you want that to come up quickly. All of a sudden you're coming too close to that truck, you need to slow down. 
So then you hear on the brake. Now, unlike on the previous models, this independent work equipment control feature on the 475-10 separates the speed of the work equipment from the accelerator pedal entirely. This machine is much simpler in that respect. So if you want the work equipment to go faster, you just stroke the levers more. Plus with this new feature, you can actually customize the speed at which the work equipment moves when you're pulling the boom lever through either the raise or lower detents. You can choose between slow, medium, and fast speeds. And in this footage, you'll see an example of the fast speed setting. The operator quickly pulls the boom lever to the full raise detent and the equipment moves at the fast speed. Another nice time-saving feature on these controls that Komatsu has added is push button bucket leveling. So last year, Komatsu introduced the latest generation of its WA900 mining loader. And this Dash 8 model has a new set of automation features that actually allow the machine to dig into piles, approach trucks, and dump into trucks with little to no operator input. Now, if you haven't seen our video explaining all of those new automation features on the WA900-8, be sure to check that out. So here's how auto dig works on the 475-10. Once you've pulled this machine up to a pile with a bucket at a digging ready height, uh, Komatsu classifies this as three feet, nine inches or lower. You can then push the dedicated auto dig switch and let the system do just about all of the work for you. An automatic kick down switch lowers the machine into first gear. And as you push the bucket into the pile, the system automatically curls the bucket to collect material before lifting the boom back to horizontal. Moving on to the cab of the 475-10, it's an all new design built around customer feedback. Inside, you're gonna find a more spacious and more comfortable operating environment with new, more ergonomic switch positions, along with a new audio system that supports Bluetooth, USB, aux, and FM, AM radio connections. It's an all new cab. Um, we've had many years of customer research and, and feedback from customers. A lot of things are built into this from all those surveys over the years. We have the rear view monitor now in line with the mirrors, their power mirrors, heated mirrors. Uh, the seat is very adjustable. We have five way adjustable armrest. So Bruce mentioned those new rear view mirrors. This is actually the first Komatsu machine to feature remote control and heated rear view mirrors. When you tap the rear defroster switch, the mirrors heat up and their angle can be adjusted using a switch on the right overhead console. Now, a new option for this size class found on the 475-10 is the ability to configure this machine with either a steering wheel or joystick steering. Plus, inside the cab, Komatsu has worked extensively to improve visibility. The company has added glass at each front corner of this new cab, as well as the bottom of each door and on the rear windshield. Plus, Komatsu has switched to a slightly curved design for the front windshield. We decided uh, to eliminate two of the pillars of the cab. So if you look at the back of the cab, there, there's no pillars in that back corner. So that visibility is excellent out of the back corner behind you. Um, so we only have four posts in there. Lots of glass, the cab is, the glass is curved. So the operator can sit back further in the cab. So if you have a tall operator, they're gonna be very, very comfortable in this cab. The new cab design also features quite a bit of storage, including a holster for your smartphone, bin storage, magazine and document storage, and a spot for your lunchbox. So we are gonna finish up on the maintenance side of the 475-10, which features ground level access doors for easier day-to-day -day maintenance. And here's Bruce with a few more details on how Komatsu has worked to make this machine simple to maintain on a day-to-day -day basis. Looking back at the machine, we have a folding tilt, a tilt hood on this machine. Um, not really in that very often, you're doing PM services or maybe something with the DPF, replacing those down the road. All your daily checks can be done through the two rear doors on the side here, so it's very convenient for, for customers. Additionally, the rear panel swings out, the fan swings out so you can get to those side-by-side -side coolers. It does have an auto-reversing fan, so again, you're not in there very often. So another note on that fan that Bruce mentioned, it has a wide core radiator, which features wider spacing of cooling fins for easier cleaning. The machine also features removable mud flaps and small engine compartment side panels that allow you to access the fuel filters, lube oil filters, and the closed crankcase ventilation filter assembly without tools. So that is going to wrap it up on the new WA475-10 wheel loader from Komatsu, which is the first in this next generation lineup of wheel loaders for the company. But we want to hear your thoughts. What do you think about the new cab design? What do you think about the added power? What do you think about how this machine stacks up among the current other machines in the lineup, especially kind of that carryover of that six cylinder engine from the older models combined with this new hydraulic mechanical transmission? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you have any questions for Komatsu, 
Put those in the comments too, and we will reach out to Komatsu and let you know when we hear back. And if you like this video or found the information in it useful in any kind of way, please hit the like button below. It really helps our channel out. And if you want more videos on the latest in construction equipment, trucks, gear, and more, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you're getting up to the minute alerts whenever we drop a new video. Thank you so much again for watching, and we will see you next time.